moon signifies femininity, but Leo signifies masculinity. So this is an example of dissonant resonance, where the planet and sign are talking about the same thing, in this case, the gender dynamic, but they're on opposite ends of the spectrum. So what do you expect as an interpretation from a clash between masculinity and femininity, particularly here with Leo and the moon? Well, well, the best way I can describe it is that when you have women with this placement, women who have moon and Leo, they're going to have an unusual amount of masculine traits to them. And when you have the moon and Leo in a male chart, then that male is going to have unusually noticeable feminine qualities. Although the moon and Leo have a lot of dissonance, actually, and although dissonant Resonances are supposed to produce complicated or difficult results. The particular nature of the moon in Leo does have one underlying um, harmonious resonance, is that they're both royal and mature. So therefore, the dissonances that we are going to highlight aren't going to be as typically difficult as the dissonances that we find in many other planet sign combinations. So this isn't necessarily going to cause a native problems that they're a male with female qualities. For example, they're very artistic or they're beautiful or they're into beauty or something. Or for example, the woman is very bold, assertive. It's not necessarily going to be problematic, but it could certainly be. The moon is a symbol of fluctuation and constant change. Leo is a symbol of stability and firmness. But we should also consider it in tandem with another quiet underlying harmonious resonance between the moon and Leo, which is that the moon is emotion. And Leo possesses passion in, by the sense of it having a lot of power and strength. In this uh, case in particular, what the stability versus fluctuality between the moon and Leo, what this really winds up interpreting as, is you're likely to have a person who's got these really strong convictions, but the convictions are like sudden. That's part of their strength is how sudden and strong and almost impulsive they seem. So they'll really dedicate themselves to something, but then they also have the ability to just switch it off and dedicate themselves to something else. Leo is a symbol of self-sufficiency, self-reliance. The moon is a symbol of domestication and domestic things, which means family partnerships. And what you can expect from this is that people with the moon in Leo, they will hold an ideal of emotional independence. They'll consider that something that's worth striving for, that something that they want, to be emotionally independent. To be independent in general, but especially emotionally independent, to be able to decide their own emotions, to be able to pursue their own desires, etc. That, in turn, makes them very good leaders, but not very willing followers, and therefore it can make their um, domestic relationships more difficult than for the average person, or more difficult than if the moon were someplace else. Leo is a symbol of confidence, but the moon is a symbol of shyness. So the result that you get here is when the moon is in Leo, there's a complexity or a complex around the confidence and the ability to extrovert and express. People in Leo really want to present an aura of confidence. But underneath the presentation, there's a lot of internal questioning going on. And as a result, what you can expect from the moon in Leo is a person who has significant personal depth. Because they're trying to find within themselves the source of, of confidence that they want to extrovert and present. And this also has to do with the fact that the moon is the mind and the Leo is owned by the sun, which is the self. 
So that little sort of resonance also comes in, and, which leads to what I'm telling you about, where the moon in Leo indicates a person that really wants to understand themselves, and they become a, they have a deep sense of seeking personal depth. Most of the harmony between the moon and Leo is kind of sort of harmony, and this affects the way that we have interpreted the dissonances that we've looked at so far. But let me also just put it in its own little package and express what's the harmony between the moon and Leo. The harmony is that Leo is a symbol of leadership, and the moon is a symbol of the mother, who's an important leader. This basic harmony between the moon and Leo, which could be expressed as that they're both royal. The moon is royal and Leo is royal. Leo is the leader. The moon is a queen or a mother. And that's what causes the accurate interpretation of moon and Leo to signify it's easy for this person to take a leadership role. They're good at being a leader. Now, when you're looking at the moon and Leo or you're looking at any planet and any sign, don't forget that... A video like this is taking it into a theoretical abstraction. We're just looking at the moon in Leo as if it existed in a vacuum. But in any real chart, the moon in Leo is going to be under all kinds of other circumstances as well. It's going to have various aspects to it, conjunctions to it. It's going to be in various dignities as by virtue of what Amshas it has, the, the portions of the sign that it's in, etc., 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 etc. So in a real chart, you'll find some interesting difference from what I've talked about here, but you'll find it's a modification of what I've talked about here. What you've learned in this video is the backbone, the symbolic backbone of what the moon in Leo represents. And then what you learn later on as you practice looking at the moon in Leo in individual's charts is how the specifics of the backbone get modified and fleshed out in a particular individual. So bear that in mind, and I hope that this video gives you lots of clarity about moon in Leo. What's this thumbs up? I never did that before.